The next speaker will be our chairman, Ms. Sylvia Lim. Good evening, my fellow Singaporeans. For this election, the PAP has produced a manifesto. It is glossy and colourful, but quite short. Inside, there are six promises, the last of which is to involve all Singaporeans in shaping our future. Just the chapter starts by stating beautifully that Singapore belongs to each and every one of us. But who is us? Does the PAP really believe that Singapore belongs to you and me? Oh, that Singapore belongs to them. The PAP likes to tell us that we Singaporeans should count ourselves lucky to have PAP talents serve in our government. In fact, I think it is the other way around. The PAP should count itself blessed to have us as citizens. Singaporeans are generally law-abiding, responsible people. We expect no free lunch. We work hard and try to adapt ourselves to all sorts of changes that are foisted on us at lightning pace. The least we can expect of the government is to treat citizens fairly. But does the PAP government do that? When it comes to upgrading of HDB estates and flats, the PAP government makes opposition constituencies go to the back of the upgrading queue. Opposition constituencies have to wait longer, even if the flats are just as old. In other words, the PAP government controls the money that all of us taxpayers contribute to the government in order to favour their supporters. At a recent forum, Prime Minister Lee confirmed that the PAP would continue to discriminate against constituencies which did not vote for the PAP. A student living here in Aukang asked him, can I pay less tax and maybe take one or two years from my NS? PM Lee's answer was that there was one thing that the student could do, vote for the PAP. Is that how the PAP shows that Singapore belongs to each and every one of us? Is this an acceptable answer from our Prime Minister? By that statement, the PM is saying that it is right to use money collected from residents of Aukang and Potong Pasir to reward other Singaporeans for voting for the PAP. Does Singapore belong to the PAP? By bullying people in this way, is the PAP a first world government as it claims to be? No. Yesterday, yesterday, after nomination was over, PM Lee gave a media conference. He touched on a few subjects, including the kind of parliament he wants. According to the reports, he spoke about the driving analogy and the role of opposition in parliament. In this analogy, the government takes the role of a driver. PM Lee says, if someone else steps on the brake from time to time, when he does not like what the driver is doing, it is a dangerous way to drive. And I quote him, better find the best driver who is not only capable, but who really cares for where the car is going and will take it forward safely. And if it doesn't work, throw him out. But if he's working, support him and get to the destination together safely, unquote. 
First, let me tell the Prime Minister that the Workers' Party certainly cares where the car is going. Secondly, PM says that the PAP government does not want anybody else to put the brakes on his agenda. But what if there are dangers on the road which the driver has missed? Is it right to let the driver fumble when our lives are in his hands? What price will Singaporeans pay for that? What the PAP government is telling you is that they want to dominate parliament in such a way that nobody can stop them from doing anything. The driver must not be disturbed. But, wait a minute. Let's go back to the PAP manifesto. The last chapter says that the PAP wants to improve our democracy. They say that the new election rules give alternative voices a larger representation in Parliament. You may remember that they have amended the Constitution to guarantee you nine non-constituency MPs even if no opposition MP gets elected. So what kind of parliament does the PAP really want? The PAP wants to dominate parliament and have opposition only as NCMPs who have limited powers to vote against government agenda. Is this an improvement to our democracy? No. Do you want parliament to just be an extension of PAP Inc? Is that how Parliament is supposed to keep the government alert and sensitive to you? If you elect Workers' Party MPs to represent you, we promise we will serve you wholeheartedly and to the best of our ability. Candidates are committed to a better Singapore. Your decision is critical to the future of Singapore. Do not leave things to the driver alone. Vote Workers' Party towards a first world parliament. Yeah.